Hello and welcome back to our Red Run Challenge in Monster Hunter Generations Ultimate, where today we have got to talk to the Y Venturer here to get us a new key or a new urgent quest, rather. Uh huh. Oh no. I'll be fine. Okay. Sure. I'll take the opportunity while we're here to talk to people. Oh no, Gravio's trouble. Uh-oh. got to tell us about all the new melding types that have been unlocked. Okay. And I believe once we talk to you... Yep, that's everyone in Kokodo. Good. So, we gotta fight us a Gravios. But first we gotta have us some food. Defender High and Rider is a great combo for Gravios. we go. Of course, this quest isn't going to be just Gravios. I know what comes after it. Hey, we started, what, one or two load screens away? One. And there is no need to paint this thing because there is zero risk that we will lose it. Okay, I thought I was pointed towards the roar, but I guess maybe the roar comes from the middle of the model, not the face. Oh man, inability to dodge sidewise is lame. Sidewise? Sideways. Monster Hunter World does make it a lot easier to dodge in different directions after using moves. I believe I was just screwed over by the lack of that ability. Considering the last Monster Hunter related thing I recorded well, not the last one, but pretty recently. The last Monster Hunter game I played was hunting more AT Namiel with a friend. So, getting some Monster Hunter World in my Monster Hunter GU, at least as far as my uh, muscle memory goes. Uh 
Okay. Thanks, Conga. I hope that hit. Got no evidence that it hit anything other than the Conga. But I hope it hit. Gotta get a mount. If I can break this thing's back, I can at least make it safe to stay under it during lasers. Well, at least we got our charge. Ow. That hurt surprisingly a lot. Also, wow, we're already down to green sharp? Gross. Yeah, Gravius, that's right. Come this way. Should have used Absolute Evasion. Got that SP mode going. But whatever. Dang it. Press B a little too late there. I was trying to Absolute Evade. Gravios, I'm really going to need you to get a little closer to this ledge. Just a little closer, not a lot closer. That's perfect, Gravios. You glorious thing. And when it's down, if its back isn't yet broken, we can energy blade it. Maybe. Not positive I'll be able to hit the back. Yeah, that was the wing. Since we broke a wing, it falls over when it does its pop. All you gotta do for that is break one wing or one leg. It's a really easy requirement to meet. And you'd think that breaking both of them would restore balance to the thing by restoring symmetry, but it doesn't work like that. So, Gravios, that's absolutely not where I need you. Oh, that's that's great. Okay, I was kind of hoping the guard point would be there, but it wasn't. But that's fine. We got us another ride. This will get us the back break, and then everything will be happy and fun. Excellent. Well, at least I hit something. And that guy is almost certainly in the load zone there. Oh, he is booking it. Yeah, might as well. Might as well do this, too. I don't know. Where'd the Gravios go? I don't have it painted. What? It went here? Who could have guessed? Nice leg break. Let's just do some of this. That works. Okay, 
so left leg is unbroken and chest is unbroken. Chest is unbroken. And only chest. I guess that kick is one way to make sure that we aren't affected by the roar. right on the noggin and it didn't get KO'd. That makes me sad. Alright, I need health. Thanks, cat. got the files in the shield. Oh good, they're getting rid of the Io Prey. Cool, right after I use Absolute Evasion to get into SP mode, you use your true health horn to get me into SP mode. Nice guard point. Of course, unless I actually use one of my other arts being in SP mode is of no help. Well, so much for that, Energy Blade. Was really hoping I'd at least hit the face a little bit there. If I scored a KO on this thing, that would just be lovely. Limp? No. Oh. Hip check. Didn't realize there was a cat over there. Honestly, if I got this thing limping before the 10 minute mark, I'd be a little surprised. Considering that Gravios is a gigantic wall of HP. Okay, right at the 10 minute mark. That's right, you get to carve its tail twice. limping, but not much. Okay. It works. Again, right on the noggin. No KO. Why can't I KO this thing? Kind of forgot to put the files in the shield before I did that. rather put the charge in the files. 
I probably should have kept the files as they were so that I could do an energy blade wake up. Well, I may not have been attacking in the right direction, but we got there. Probably gave Gravios time to get to bed. Yep. We're not getting the chest breaks. Even if we can get potentially the first one with this energy blade. We're not gonna. Yeah, there was no way we were gonna get even the first one there. And you need to get both to get a reward for it. So, oh well. Broke everything else he's got. But this quest isn't over yet. They're gonna pretend it's over. For now. Yeah, it's not over. Oh, Valstrax. Who would have guessed? Didn't need the map. I should have sharpened during that little break. I was expecting them to maybe sharpen me up. Let's see if we can't get this thing's tail. Hi, Valstrax. I gotta say, Generations and GU don't have the greatest monster intros, but that's a good one. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm ready to continue hunting, though. His gear took on a Nakarkos. It can take on a Valstrax. Okay, that did a surprising amount of damage for just a single non-raging attack. Ow. Cat. If we could get a ride, that would be good. Though a ride after we've gotten our shield charged again. I really feel like that leaf should disappear when the camera gets all up in it. Nice flip. definitely within a place where we can hop on him. Okay, probably shouldn't have tried to guard point that. Ow. Not sure if that was because the guard point doesn't last long enough or because the angle was bad, but it was definitely at least one of the two. There we go. 
almost got an energy blade ready. If one of our cats gave us a true health horn right now. That would do it. But we're not missing enough health for it to even consider that, I don't think. Dang it. If only I hadn't gone to the other side of the tail. If only that cat had a earplugs. Ow. Uh-oh. Thanks for going for the cats. Charles, you don't need to come after me. I'm I'm fine. In fact, it's better if you don't hang out with me right now, Charles. You're bringing it to me. You too, Manny. You two are both being very bad cats. I forgot to do the whole file charge thing first again. Also, I already had full field charge. Also, ow! That move hurts. Yeah, this leaf definitely should uh, disappear when the camera gets all up in it. Oh good, it's out of rage. And somehow that attack didn't hit me. Dang it. If that ledge wasn't there, I would have been able to run actually perpendicular to the strike. This seems like a pretty big Valstrax, but maybe that's because I haven't fought one in a while. Break, I think. Yeah, that's the back break. Oh, five valve tracks. Wanted to do that and actually hit the tail. Dang it. Five with two slots is not terrible for us right now. And Charles hitting level 25 means he might have more slots for his abilities and skills and whatnot. So I'll have to take a look. I'm fine. I was fine. I could have handled it if it didn't run away. You can apologize to them, but I need no apology from you, buddy. I'm fine. So let's see about that cat. Yep, we got another slot here. Right, I still need to get that unlocked. That's what we're going to put in that slot. So we need to do a Geodrome. That should be... Truly difficult. 
a real test of our skills. And we'll put support boost in here for now. As soon as we get another slot, we are absolutely going with earplugs. Yeah. And you know what? Since it's going to be super short, let's go do a gear drum now. We don't need defense for gear drum. Yeah, it's fine. Oh. Okay, let's find us a Geodrome. I hope I haven't done the only Geodrome quest in existence. That would be kind of terrible. I mean... I know for a fact that there's a Gia drum quest over in the pub, or at least in the high rank stuff. So we just get to fight a, a higher HP Gia drum, but that's fine. We can live with that. Uh, we are looking for something like that quest right there. Already eight. There's also at least one cat quest that has a geodrome, but I'm not doing cat quests, so yeah. Secret area, huh? Shame it's high rank, but might as well at least do the mining. Actually, this secret area is mildly handy. Because we just go up here, and then we're already at the top. Shortens the climb. I mean, it was even better back in Gen 2, but still, it's helpful. And there's our target. Hey, Geodrome, I'm going to need you to just heal over and die real quick. Can you do that for me? That'd be great. I keep forgetting to put the files in, or to charge the files, rather. I keep on forgetting what it is I'm even doing. When did I get Ice Blade? Yeah, probably from one of those little jerks spitting on me like it just did. is a stunned Geodrome. And that was a Ripper Shield that didn't even get me a charge despite all the hits landing. What gives? Well, at least we hit it. limping. Yeah, you're not pinning me, buddy. Did my cat just boomerang it over my energy blade?
Because I'm pretty sure my energy blade missed. These things' flinches are all way too over exaggerated. I can't understand why anyone would want these drones back rather than, like, Great Jaggy or Great Baggy. They're just straight upgrades in terms of fighting and in terms of aesthetics, in my opinion. Like, I don't know a single person who thinks that these drones were more fun to fight than Jaggy and Baggy and Roggy. They're too squirrely. But whatever. We got this guy down. Charles is going to learn how to use Furlask of Healing. And then we're going to have a nice heal over time ability on our cat. And it's going to be great. dying way up in the air. Also, hang on. Its shadow down there is just kind of amusing to me. Nope. Okay, now that we've got Furlask of Healing learned, we gotta go equip it before we can end the episode, because if I don't equip it, I'll probably forget all about it. What do you want? Okay. Charles, we need you to have Furlask of Healing because it is great. And with that, we'll end this episode. Join us next time when we get to work on the Village Nine Star Quests. See you then, friends. <laughs>